episode 1641 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I am beat to heck. It is Saturday. I've been, well, I've been busting a gut and dealing with some interesting stuff along the way. Bought a new car, not completely happy with it. Trying to deal with that and my wife on over the car. And um, life isn't always easy. And I want to make this part of life easier for you. Today's show answers one of those questions I've heard a million times from job hunters. Do they really expect me to know all this stuff? Hope you find it helpful. Hope you give it a great review. Please give it a great review. It does make a difference. And with that, let's get going. Question I received from someone is, do companies expect people to have those big laundry lists of skills? Ooh, big laundry list. Have you ever seen a laundry list? I certainly haven't. Maybe this is something that's disappeared, but have you ever seen a laundry list? I digress. So the answer is yes. (laughs) That's why the word requirements precedes it. It is required. So when they list six things, eight things, nine things, 95 times out of 100, they're being explicit about what they want. Why would you ignore that? Because you want to work there? Because you have three of the six or 12 and you think that's enough? They disagree. (laughs) They know what they need and thus they put it there. Now, there's an area different than the requirements that says pluses or preferences or preferred or something along those lines that indicates that this is not an absolute requirement, but we're going to use this as a tiebreaker between different people. And as such, the requirements area most of the time is exactly that. Most of the time, and it's required, the pluses break the tie. Now, there are exceptions, and we'll never know. And I'll just say that there's a a point of diminishing returns where firms realize that maybe we don't need all 12 of those things and we can settle for 10, but they never go to three. You know what I mean? (laughs) They never drop down from 12 to three. And you'd have to notice that that job has been up for quite some time. And even that is at the signal because they may have just forgotten to take it down. So the fact of the matter is when a recruiter When a company places an ad, they are trying to be as clear as possible about what the job is going to be like and what is going to be needed from their vantage point for someone to be qualified to be hired. Everything else is you wishing and hoping that maybe you could squeeze in there and do, you know, be considered and and you're not. So let's not stop kidding ourselves. And just focus in on the things that you're actually qualified for. Oh, yeah, my favorite. We're looking for someone with 20 years of experience. I have three. You think this could work? That happens all the time. I used to hate that in recruiting. People would just ignore what I had listed in an ad and say, I want to do this or I can do this uh, and submit their resume. Don't do it. You're just a spammer then. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, at my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us, I have more than 7,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. While there, if you're interested in one-on-one coaching from me, you can schedule a session, either a discovery call or a coaching session with me by using the button on the homepage that says schedule. You'll see a number of different options. If you just want to have a quick chat to see if coaching makes sense, use the discovery call option. If you want the best of my advice with an emphasis on interviewing, go to JobSearchCoachingHQ.com where I've curated information with a focus on interviewing. If you decide to take a lifetime membership at the site, basically what I do is I give you the money back in the form of one hour of coaching with me that you can use as two 30-minute sessions. Thus, the site becomes free. You can also hire me for a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, trusted advisor services, help with a salary negotiation, and much, much more at my website. 
Like you, I don't work for free. I do charge for what I do. You can also take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands and thousands of courses, not just simply mine, but on a host of different subjects that can help you in many different ways. Lastly, join my group on Facebook, which is called Career Angles. It's free to the first 250 members who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in, so it's a safe place and you won't get harassed. And I'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great!